everybody, it's October and I am finally back to booktube. <laughs> Yes, it has been a long time since I've last uploaded a video, but in my defense, we went back to school full time, I had a cross country season going on, and I was working on college applications, so everything was going crazy. I barely read anything. I think I read like two or three books in the last month. It was, it was not very good, so we're just not going to talk about that, but I am here again, and I am ready to make more videos and read more books and get back into the things that I love. I'm so excited. Yes, if you can't tell, I really love Halloween. I've got the yellow turtleneck sweater on. I've got the devil ears that I got, devil horns that I got in like sixth grade. They definitely don't work anymore, but they're still cute. And I also, of course, have candy corn nails because <laughs> what else are you supposed to do in the month of October? Like. So I have accumulated way too many books, honestly, let's not even lie, I have- I, someone please take my wallet away from me, it's gonna get hurt. Um, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 books that I have accumulated since July? July, I think. Oh boy. Um. Let's just get started! So the first book that I have is a very exciting one, and one that is way bigger than I thought it would be, and that is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. So the first book that I have is a very exciting one, and one that is way bigger than I thought it would be, and that is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas. And actually, I have only started, like, the beginning of Throne of Glass. I never really, like, got super into it, but I do want to start over again because I did love Selena, 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 as a character. She was so cool. But, um, this, I bought it because it was, like, 40% off at Barnes & Noble, and I was like, give it to me. And it's like almost 900 pages or 800 pages, but like these pages are like Bible thin. I was not expecting that. And like also I can't, yeah, I, I really couldn't control myself, honestly. And I've had a lot of, I've heard a lot of people absolutely love this book and I can't wait. I think this is definitely going to be a November or December weird read where I just kind of sit down and just binge the entire thing. Hopefully either like over a weekend or maybe even Christmas break maybe? Who knows? We'll see. The next book I got is something that really interests me. It may not be as fun for other people, but Ray Bradbury's Stories. And it has a 100 of his most celebrated tales with an introduction by the author. And this, if you like floppy paperbacks, yeah, this one, this one falls under that category. It's basically it is what it says it is 100 short stories written by Ray Bradbury in I believe sixth grade I read two of his stories for English class fell in love I read Fahrenheit 451 which was really good not a super fave but loved it and then I also read the Martian Chronicles which I adored I love that book so much I'm still looking for like a collector's edition style but they don't really have them that much I've definitely concurred that Ray Bradbury is my all-time favorite classic author I mean he's still like a classics author he's not as like notorious as others but he's still my favorite and I just I don't think I'm gonna read this all at once but I'm gonna slowly just slowly pick at it just a little little bit here and there so I can make it last as long as I can <laughs> the next book I got was more as it's more of a gift I didn't really buy it um, my li local library does a summer reading program and the book I picked out is Orpheus Girl by Bryn Rebel Henry, and I hope I said that right, but this author normally exclusively writes poetry, but this is her first novel, and I'm very excited about it. I really don't know anything, I just thought the cover was pretty, and this happens to be like an ARC edition, which I think is pretty neat, and it's really short too, and I do know that it has something to do with Greek mythology, 
or the definitely the story of Orpheus because you know it's in the title it does say a love story between two teen girls in rural Texas and I think that's honestly all I need to know about this story I don't really need to know any more to go into it so I'll probably end up binging this entire thing in one sitting because it's so short but it it's really pretty and I'm really happy I could get it <laughs> Okay, this next book is something that I am still so excited to have, like, oh my god, okay. This book is The Faceless Old Woman Who Secretly Lives in Your Home, written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner, which if you do not know, they are the creators of Welcome to Night Vale, the podcast. Yes, I do listen to podcasts. We'll get into more of that later. But I love, 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 love creepy things, horror things. Like, I mean, yes. And I saw this in the store and it had this pretty shiny signed first edition sticker. And I was like, okay, that is mine. And it's like, <laughs> I don't have many signed books, but this just in itself is beautiful. And I, so happy about it. If you do not know, Welcome to Night Vale is a podcast which has a narrator who reads Cecil Baldwin, my king, and he basically reads the nightly news report for the town of Night Vale over the radio. And this town is it's not normal. There's a lot of really weird things that happen, honestly. You just have to jump into it. It's so immersive and it's such a good like storyline. I listened to it a long time ago and I never ended up finishing it, which is really sad, but I have plans to go back and just kind of binge listen to the entire thing and then as soon as I'm done with that, read this book because I just, their wording is, they're so good at writing like quick little glib, like I, words are failing me right now, but words definitely do not fail Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. So if you're interested in any type of like weirdness, mixed with horror go check this out honestly i haven't even read it yet and i'm already recommending it to people just go for it the next one i have is also very exciting it is vicious spirits by cat show and oh my god look at the cover and 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 and, and. okay okay the color of the book and the spine too okay okay Okay, I see you. I am looking at you, and I see you. Um, I talked about this, I think, in my first video, but I read Wicked Saints this year. Absolutely, no, not Wicked Saints. Wicked Fox. I read Wicked Fox this year, and it was so good, and when I was at Barnes & Noble, I could not control myself, and I had to get this. I'm really excited to see what happens, like, afterwards with the side characters, especially because I did really 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 love the character um Junu Junu I think that's how you pronounce his name but I I'm really excited to follow their characters and see where this goes so. and then another sequel to a book that I got or I read this year is Blood and Honey whoever designs these covers I hope you are having all your financial dreams fulfilled because these are so beautiful like, I can't even, it's so pretty, like, and the red, the red, um, yes, I loved the ending of this, but there was a lot of, like, cliffhanger stuff, and I really need to know what happens with Lou and Reed, I need to know right now, and, I mean, it's October, and they're witches, and this might be a good, hmm, Yes, this is on my TBR for this month, but we will get we will get to that later. That's not right now. We'll get to that later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, two more books to go, and the first one is *The Poppy War* by R. F. Quang. Quang, 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 Quang. I think I don't know how to pronounce it. And I was literally in the Barnes and Noble, and I messaged my friend Isabella, and I was like. <laughs> What book do I get? And she told me to get this one. So now I have really high expectations for this and I hope it's really good. So honestly, don't know that much about it. And I mean, I know there's something to do with like a war and like, I think a tr like war training academy, something like that. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully it's good. And then lastly, I have Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. It's really, it's really small. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this, but it's not. 
Also, this is the YA Book Club exclusive edition, which, hold on a minute here. Let me show you, let me show you this. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Like, look at how beautiful that is. I don't even, I'm, the dust jacket, yeah, you're cute, but like, Okay, I honestly also don't know anything about this except I know that it has a trans character. I believe it has like a uh, LGBT couple. I don't know who, how, when, where, why. And I know it has to do with like Hispanic culture and like summoning the dead. And honestly, just all of those things going to pot, mixed around, bit like I. I love this. I want it. I want to read it right now. I. This might be the next book that I read. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, that concludes my haul, finally. Oh my god, I bought so many books, but they're all so beautiful, and I'm so excited to delve into those stories, or continue those stories for some of those. Next, I'd like to take a few seconds to just talk about what I'm currently reading, and the first book that I am currently reading, like, one of two physical books that I'm reading, is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I... I am on page 180, and wow, 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 I love friendship dynamics, and I, especially friend group, like, and the spookiness with the characters, and I actually, like, I normally annotate books, and this is, like, one of the few books that I've also annotated by, like, underlining the pages i don't even have sticky notes i just decided to underline stuff with a ruler and a pen and just went for it you know the way they interact with each other with such their stark like drastically different personalities is so mm. i love blue's character she's so sweet and like the way she lives in a house full of like tarot reading like future predicting like spirit seeing woman it's just so so cool i i love it i love it so much i think i might binge read the rest of this book and it fits so well with spooky season but <laughs> no more words that's all okay the next book i am currently reading is actually the gilded wolves and i'm reading it as an audiobook and honestly i'm kind of not too sure how well that's working out for me because the um the people that are reading the audiobook they switch between when the characters are speaking they use a french accent and then for like the main like narration they use an english accent and i mean it's interesting but i feel like the french accent is very overly exaggerated and it kind of confuses me a bit so i'm not entirely sure what's happening with the storyline but i do know that's very interesting the fact that they're bringing in like different histories of different things from around the world like they mentioned like how they use some type of mind controlling device for like slavery in america and like how like the whole thing with like is it fabricating i think they call them fabricators i'm not sure if that's a term that they used but being able to like create stuff and i already love 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 the character tristan and the way that he can like make flowers and he like freaked out and he's like guys look and everyone's like oh my god what and he just had a spider like that was it he just had a spider <laughs> So I do definitely love the characters right now. I'm not entirely sure what's happening with the plot. We're gonna see where that goes. I think I'm like 20% of the way through, so hopefully it ends well. Okay, the next book I'm reading is actually for my AP literature class, and that is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And I ended up buying my own copy of this so that I could write in it. And this cover is so beautiful. I love it. And like I loved the fact that I bought this for myself so that I could write in it because I'm just going absolutely ham with the amounts of notes that I am taking in here. I'm just going for it, writing literally everywhere. And it it's working out really well for me because this book, if you have not read it, is very long-winded. And it's very, like, I'm not a huge fan of the plot. The plot's kind of dry. There's not a ton happening there. But the wording, the verbiage is so beautiful like this man this man he's a dictionary he is a just wow and i do like i normally struggle sometimes with classic books but i'm really really liking this just 
the wording alone is so beautiful in the sentence structure and it's I like it okay I like it a lot right now it's looking to be like a four star which is crazy because that doesn't happen for me in classics but hopefully <laughs> okay that is all for the books that I'm currently reading and I'd also like to quickly mention that I just finished and got caught up with listening to a podcast called the Magnus Archives which is basically um about this it takes place in Britain and it's about this man Jonathan Sims and he's the head archivist of the Magnus Institute and he basically reads out loud statements of people and records them and these statements are not like normal statements they're statements about any encounters that they have had with like the weird and the strange and just anything out of the normal and so he records these statements and as time goes on things start to go bad and some of these statements start to yes i don't want to say too much but it's definitely very spooky and very like horror filled and it's definitely not nice to the characters these characters there's no fluff fluff doesn't exist none of it actually there's a little once again the season five but honestly it is so good i i'm obsessed it's amazing each of the characters definitely have big flaws but they're very like humanistic flaws so you can definitely feel remorseful for a lot of the characters but a lot of even the side characters they're like even the dead characters have really good plot lines and have really good like character arcs so you can kind of understand fully why they are the way they are which i love and i honestly think it's amazing how the creators and the writers could go and like do something like this and format it as a podcast like the amount of stuff that they put into the story that you're only listening to is insane like there's no narration to it it's just the words that they're speaking but they still have managed to pack so much like detail and like plot into these it's it's amazing i love it so the author of the magnus archives his name also happens to be jonathan sims and he's writing a book which is coming out in november called 13 stories and it's gonna be like a horror book and i i need it i need it in my hands right now please give it to me please Jonathan Sims or anyone that works for the Rusty Quill if you're seeing this please give it to me yeah that's all I have to say about that go listen to the Magnus archives do yourself a favor it's spooky time you deserve it just do it okay and the last thing I have to mention in this video is I finally filled out a page of my bullet journal and the page that I came up with is a, a TBR just you know just something simple to start it out and it is my October TBR and I just kind of drew it with a pen and colored it in with some colored pencils and I love the way that it turned out it's just it's so cute honestly I might continue doing a journal like this because why do you why do you need to cut things in when I can just doodle I mean it works the first book is the Raven Voice by Maggie Stiefvater which I already discussed and I'm already working through very excited about that the second book is of course cemetery boys by aiden thomas because i just couldn't resist it's raising people from the dead when else am i gonna read this other than october this is the time to do it do it now so i'm looking forward to this and then the next book i wanted to read this month is one that i've already talked about in this video again but it's blood and honey because of course witches october how can you not i just really need to know what happens to these characters it's really bugging me i I miss them <laughs> okay and then the other book is the elite by Kira Cass and honestly I might change this I might not read this because I kind of want to keep my things a bit more spooky but we'll see because it is easy to fly through so I could just read through this in a weekend so we'll see if I get to it or not if not then next month who knows we'll see the next book on my October TBR is the Scarlet Letter which I am honestly almost done with I'm getting there and still like it and honestly it's just on my tbr because i had to read it for school but it's it's really good it's not necessarily like gothic literature or anything but it's just the way it's very it does take place in like i think 1800s and like the time of like where there's witches and whatnot so there is a bit of underlying like um gothicness in that aspect but not a ton but i do still really enjoy it okay the last book on my october tbr is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo and I saw this at my school library and I, I just couldn't not grab it because I mean it's it's written in verse so it's easy to skim through. I honestly might start reading it 
as soon as I finish the Raven Boys and then just fly through this one. And I know it's not very like October spooky time, but it's it was at my library. I couldn't say no. I have this thing where if I go to the library and I see a book that I really want to read, I just check it out, even if I don't end up reading it. I it's kind of a problem, but oh well, we'll see. I hope it's really good. I think it's it's probably gonna be good. Everyone loves it. I mean how can you go wrong? Okay, that will be the end of my video for today. Thank you for sticking around until the end and I hope everyone is enjoying their Halloween season as much as they can with everything going on. And I hope everyone is staying safe, wearing a mask in public, and I will see you guys in my next video where hopefully I can discuss all the books I read. <laughs> okay, we will see you next time. Goodbye!